Welcome back, Couple Collectors and Diecast enthusiasts, to another episode of Curbs Garage. This is the last installment of the Collector Number series uh, that ranged from 1989 to 1999. Um, I hope you were enjoying the different castings. Um, and what's important about this era is uh, most collectors that I've, just from what I can tell from my Instagram and, and also on here, that um, they're the older guys that collect the red lines, the original red lines and black wall era cars. Uh, but this decade, the, the collector numbers was really skipped altogether. Most collectors don't even bother or they don't know about it. I'm not sure. It was probably a interesting time for Hot Wheels Mattel because uh, in uh, 1998, they actually had 40, 40 first editions. Uh, in 1999, I think they had 26 first edition castings. A lot of new castings came out of this decade. And not only that, um, Treasure Hunts first came out um, in this decade. Towards the end, I think, it was, I think it was probably 98 when the Treasure Hunts uh, first appeared. And now the Super Treasure Hunts and the Treasure Hunts are really popular in the 2000 to today. Um, are the castings that a lot of people are collecting. Also, the Real Riders um, are really popular. And the Real Riders also came out in this decade here. Um, so I'm not sure why this de decade got lost and isn't as popular. Uh, I'm hoping that it, it will it will come popular. And, um, and the thing is, right now, these castings are, you can find them, and they're still like a dollar. They're not too expensive and anyhow enough of me rambling about the history of it but just know um yeah the collector numbers 89 to 99 treasure hunts came out of there the real riders came out of there um and a lot of unique weird castings came out of there first editions came out of there so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and finalize this the last few that i have here uh we left off with collector number 926 and um which was a mercedes um sports car it was a clklm and uh now we are on to collector number 927 which is this 56 ford it was also a first edition in 1996 uh, and if you take a look at it it actually has a moving uh part the hood the hood does open. I don't want to jack with it. it. Looks like it's a little sticky, but the hood, this thing opens up. Um, so it's a little panel wagon thing. Pretty neat little casting. I could imagine that being a really cool casting to customize, just because of all the real estate on it that you could, you know, throw labels or whatnot. And it's, I like this kind of. Um, I guess they call that gunmetal gray. You got the Ford, genuine Ford um, parts. Is that what it is on there? Genuine Ford parts. And um, yeah, the engine detail. It's got chrome interior and a plastic base. Five spoke wheels. Got a variation that. Uh, it's just newer. This wasn't part of the collector number series. It just was another main line that um, just another example of what you can do with all that space you have. This one's got yellow tinted window, golded, gold engine and wheels, five spoke wheels on it. No step panel there. It's got plastic base. Uh, up next, collector number 928 is a Chrysler Pronto. And the other fun thing, which I mentioned a hundred times, um, that um, there's so many castings in this series. There's everything from a, a real live car to, you know, a shopping cart with a big engine in it and everything in between so this one's got blacked out window 
got like a butterscotch yellow, five spoke wheels, plastic base, and that was number 23 of the 26 new editions for 1999. Collector number 929 is a Mercedes 540K. I do not have that, nor do I have collector 930, the T-Bird Stalker or 931, the 97 Corvette, or 932, the Rigger Mo Motor. These are all treasure hunts. Ferrari F uh, 512M was 933, 934 is a 59 Impala, and 935 is a Hot Wheels 500 IndyCar. Collector 936 is a Jaguar D. 937 is a 32 Ford delivery. 938 is a hot seat, which is a toilet uh, car that was a treasure hunt. Jeez, can you imagine finding that? Um, disappointment. Um, 939 is a Mustang Mach 1, nice black one. 940 was um, the 12th of 12, the express lane, which is that shopping cart I talked to you about that has the engine on it. And I, sh I have that in the earlier videos. 941 is a bugging out, uh, kind of a snowmobile. Um, oh, bugging out is the series. Number 941 was the Treadator. 942 is the Shadow Jet, which um, I don't like fantasy cars per se, but um, for some reason, this particular casting I liked, especially the first edition, it's all chrome. Um, just, I don't know, something about it. I'm not even into, like, space stuff or whatever. I don't know. I don't, but for some reason, it, I don't know, it's kind of neat. I don't know if it's the stance or what. But this one has a plastic uh, body and a metal base. Collector number 943 is a Radar Ranger. And that was number three in the Bug Out series, Bugging Out series. And Collector 944, of course, is a bug with a bug on it, the Baja bug. And this was the fourth one in the series. Nice metal flake blue and orange interior, metal on metal, great casting. Let's see, where are we at? Collector 945 and Mercedes C-Class. And 946 is a Lamborghini Diablo in green. Collector 947 is a, a 67 Camaro. And this is part of the X-Ray Cruiser series. Not sure. Uh, what that means, but this is uh, really bitching Camaro. This is one of my favorite probably Hot Wheel castings. I know I keep saying all these different ones, but this Camaro has been around for so long and it's just I mean, it's so so cool. It's got the opening hood and um, gosh, that enamel blue looks really good with the flames. If it just had the enamel blue and the flames on the side and still looks pretty cool all the way around it. I mean, there's the, I guess the x-ray part is, you can see the engine and through it. I guess that's what that's supposed to be, but anyway. There we go. And we're going to get through all these. Uh, let's see, so it looks like we're skipping. Uh, the fourth one was a Jaguar XJ2020, collector 948. Collector 949 is a mini truck. That's that one with the speakers in the back. Collector 950 is a proper chopper, just a helicopter. Collector 951 ambulance. I have that. And so this is these were all part of the street art um, series. So pretty cool little uh, graffiti type of art on there. I like this color. Got orange uh, windshield, chrome plastic base on it. Uh, 
And let's see. Okay, so Collector 952 is a school bus with street art on it. And then you go into the Pinstripe Power Series Collector 953, which is, this is number one in that series. I really like this one, this Pinstripe. I'm really into pinstriping. I, matter of fact, I, um, when I was at Hobie, I designed a surfboard uh, with this style pinstriping on it. Same color, purple with that um, pinstriping, and it was uh, came out really neat. You don't see that too much in the surfboard industry. I kind of tried to bring the kind of hot rod, low rider look onto surfboards. Always trying to do something different. This is that nice purple that I like. And uh, metal on metal. This is a great casting. Been around again for a long time. The three window 34. Collector 954, another one is this uh, the tail dragger. And love the pin, pin line work on this. And this is the type of car that you would see this type of pin line work on. And um, this is a really badass low rider. Black with tan interior. And um, you can see the hood pin line work. Really nice. I like the, uh, like I said before, those LW wheels look really great on low riders. Perfect. This is a metal on metal casting. Collector 955. This is this one here. Also from the um, Pinstripe Power Series. It's Lowrider um, 65 Impala. It's got the gold LW wheels. You can kind of see the pin lining in there with the gold pin lining along the sides and on the hood. You can see the tan interior in there, gold front uh, front end. Pretty legit low rider. And oh, I have every one in the series. Imagine that. <laughs> and this is the. Fourth one, the Auburn 852, collector number 956 of the Pinstripe Power Series. And probably my least favorite. Um, I mean, I like the casting, but the I don't think the pinstriping culture really goes well with a really classic um, car that you might see in Beverly Hills or something. But, I mean, the wheels work with it. Just I don't think the pin lining should be on there. But anyhow, that's just my opinion. All right, as we're moving along, Collector 957 is a GM lean machine. And that starts the game over series. Uh, Collector 958 is a shadow jet. Uh, Collector 95... Collector 959 is a speed blaster, which I have right here. And I guess this must be some kind of a gaming, uh, it says it's Game Over series. I think it's probably video games Final Fight 4. It's like some kind of video, video game, but... Uh, yeah, this is, oh, this is the Twin Mill, this is 961, the, ah, uh, 960, the Twin Mill 2, 959 was a speed blaster, I didn't have it, I apologize for that, and so there's your Twin Mill, it's the only one I have in that series, and then, now we are moving on to the Surf, Surf and Fun series. And that starts with um, 
a woody of course and that's the number of collector 961 it's the first one of the series and a neat like uh, nice purple paint job and it's got some pin line work on the fender there you got some aloha on the rough metal base Collector 962 is a Volkswagen Bug with a surfing um, series. I thought I had that, but I guess I don't. Maybe it's with my Bug collection. Collector 963 is a 55 Chevy. Uh, it's, I had that one. I don't have it now. But Collector 964, here's a classic Nomad. I just did a video about the Nomads and the Alive 55s. This one was in it. So that one you guys have seen already. Um, and then, uh, so that Nomad was the fourth one in the Surf and Fun series. And the next series was the Extreme Speed series. And the first one, Collector 965, is the Dodge Sidewinder. Collector 966 is a Callaway C7. Collector number 967 is a Porsche 911 Carrera. And then Collector 968 is a Mazda Miata. Don't have any of that series. Uh, the next series I have is the Sugar Rush Series 2. Uh, Collector 969 is the 70s Roadrunner with the O. Henry... Um, candy bar logo. I don't know if O. Henry's even around anymore. I haven't uh, I mean, it's not that I buy candy bars very often or at all anymore, but um, I remember O. Henry, and I believe it had something to do with Hank Aaron. I think that was the O. Henry where it came from. Uh, the baseball player that in my opinion still owns the home run record since he didn't cheat. Um on steroids and whatnot, but that's again my my opinion. So there's the there's that. Collector nine seventy is a Jaguar X K eight. This is uh about thousand grand hundred grand <laughs> thousand grand hundred grand um candy bar logo on it. That was a good candy bar, I remember. Kind of like the Nestle's Crunch. I think it had a little bit, a little different something to it. Not sure. So it was a creamy caramel milk chocolate. I think that was uh, had the creamy caramel to it. So it was basically a Nestle's Crunch with caramel. Anyhow, there's that. Know more about the candy than I do the Casting is pretty sad. All right, collector um, 971. I have the Pikes Peak Celica. All these candies and Halloween around the corner. I guess that's why my head, my head, that's where my head's at. Um, this is number three of the series, and uh, I like this. This casting is pretty cool. I think maybe the new school Hot Wheel collectors that like. Uh, you know, the sport cars um, would probably dig on on this casting here. It's got a big old spoiler on the back. Got the webbing. Probably got a row bar in there. Uh, okay, so then, they, and then the Collector 972 is a Dodge Concept car with a Babe Ruth candy bar um, tampos on it and then now I moved into the mega graphic series I do not have any of those but they are as follows 1973 is a funny car 974 is a Mustang Cobra 975 is a turbo flame 976 is a firebird funny car 
And then we go on to the Terrific series. 977, which I don't believe I have any of these either. Um, the At Etude. 978 is a Cataput. 979 is a Sweet 16 2. 980 is a Splitting Image. And now we are in the Classic Game series. And I don't have any of those. And that's uh, Collector 981, Super Modified, 982, Silhouette 2, 983, Solo RCX, 984, Escort Salary, Escort Rally, 985 is a Salt Flat Racer, um, and that's part of the Cartoon Friend series. So, um, I do have Collector 986, there's an XT3 with a cartoon, Rocky Bull Winkle. Most of you guys are probably way too young to remember that cartoon. It came out in like the 60s in the black and white. Yeah, TV was in black and white at one time. And it wasn't even in HD. And, um, so there's that. It's like a flying squirrel and a moose were, were buddies and were getting all kinds of mischief. Here's... Uh, Another one, this was uh, the Double Vision, Collector 987. This is number three in that series. And there's there's the, that's the uh, moose. So the moose and the squirrel, the flying squirrel were buddies. Yeah, I can't remember their names. But Bullwinkle, Bullwinkle and the, I don't know what the squirrel's name. I can't remember. Long time ago. Uh, the last one, I got Collector 988 in the Lake Sar. Oh man, I need to get through this. Okay. And this is, uh, I think that's one of the bad guys that was in the, that was in there. Uh, and this thing opens up like that. I'm trying to get through this with the, just make this the last video. Um, right on to the 1999 Hot Wheels. I'm just going to skip because I don't have any of them. Going right to uh, 994, the way too fast. That's this guy right here. Then you have. Uh, collector, another hot seat, because it's collector number 999. And these are just main lines. Collector 1000 is the 59 Impala. 1001 is a side out. And... I'm just going to skip through the rest and get right to um, the last couple. Collector 10,000. 1,014 is the 67 Camaro. Again, that great casting with the opening hood. Metal on metal. Really neat casting. Blue tinted window. Metal on metal. And you got Collector 1018, which is a 32 Ford Coupe. It's like a white enamel with uh, some pretty cool flames on it. That's the metal with a black plastic base. I'm going to finish off. Here with just a few more, just bear with me. Here is um, Collector 1027, the customized C3500, Jerry's Electric. I know there's a lot of truck fans out there. Pretty long, long piece. Um, and we got this here. Which is a what do we got here? This is a 
this looks like the this is the Mustang Cobra. Yeah, and that is collector number one thousand sixty six. Yeah, sorry, I'm missing a lot of them in between, but I don't got time to go through them. I just want to finish this video for you guys. This is collector number 1077, a 57 Chevy. It's got a lot going on. Nice paint job, nice stance. Blown engine. Black, blacked out windows. Chrome plastic base. Here's uh, collector number 1079 to 63 Corvette. I know a young lady that has one of those in her garage. Just saw it this weekend. Hers has a removable top. I'm not sure if that's if this. If they made one, it was just a hard um, top or not. But anyhow, it's got some extreme tampos on it. And then uh, got a collector 1080, a Humvee. And it's a nice teal paint job. Got the Humvee logo on the back of it. Closed. Definitely grayed out windows. I just think it feels like it's plastic on plastic. I guess the base might be metal. It's, it doesn't look like it. Um, keeping it going. Collector 1081, the power plower. But it's missing the plower. But this casting, um, this particular one, this variation didn't come with a um, a plow but the original did and that's because this guy does landscaping he doesn't need it he ain't plowing he's mowing lawns and cutting trees pretty cool truck though stance everything about it metal on metal All right coming down to the wire we got three left. Here is the tow truck. This is the uh, collector 1087, the rig wrecker. And this is definitely a um, looks like a played with variation. I thought I saw some scratches on it. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, last two. Here we go. Here's a Mach 5. Mach 5. <laughs> Mach 1. And let's see if I can find it. What number it is. Uh, it's the Mustang Mach 1 Collector 1105. Nice blue. And now for the last piece. And finally, the Collector Number Series um, is done. This is uh, Collector Number 1121, the Chevy 1500. Um, so... This is actually the last number. So from 1 to 1121. Now there's not 1,121 castings because remember there's a lot that uh, did not exist. So I don't know what the exact number is. But it's a fun um, fun and cheap series to collect. And um, so just wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the castings and. Um, I'm going to enjoy making other videos other than the collector number series videos kind of burnt out. There was a lot of castings to go through. So appreciate your patience. 
happy hunting out there, and uh, we'll uh, see you soon.